going to be doing some uh, rig tying today. We're uh, we're going to do a double um, swivel in the middle loop knot with the double chunking rigs, one on each end. So we're going to put the swivel in the middle. We'll have one one hook on this end, one hook on this end. This rig is used for it's a heavy rig, big hooks, heavy leader. It's used for big black drum that we find in Delaware Bay off the coast of Delaware and New Jersey. Uh, we're talking fish from 30 up to 100 pounds black drum. We get real big black drum. Also, this can be used as a double chunking rig for striped bass with uh, chunks of bunker. Um, you know, the one thing that is the downfall on this rig is uh, if you have sand sharks or spiny dogfish in the area when you're using this rig, it can be called a double dog rig. <laughs> so you don't want to double up on dogfish when you're catching, or if there's rays around or anything else, you're catching, you know, junk on, on the double rig. But uh, especially clamming for the bunker with fresh, I mean, I'm sorry, especially clamming for uh, drumfish, um, you know, having double clams down there, you can go through twice as much bait, but it gives you a better opportunity. You got more, uh, more down there, um, you know, fresh bait, double the fresh bait. If one gets picked off, the other one can still be there. So uh, we're going to tie that rig today. And, and as always, Hanging with Heavy is brought to you by BoatLoans.com. For all your marine financing needs, whether you're buying a new boat or re looking to refinance the one you have, check out BoatLoans.com. So what we're going to get started with here is we're going to do our... Um, we're going to do our swivel first. So we're going to put our swivel down. I started out, it's probably uh, an arm's length, a double arm's length from hold one hand out to the next of, uh, of mono. I got a 100 pound barrel swivel. You don't need a real big swivel for this. So uh, we come in, we're going to make our, our loop. All right, and we're going to go around one, two, three, four, five. All right, and we're gonna find our middle. Be right up here at the top. We're gonna pop that open where you can see that. See that there, take the swivel. We're gonna come through. Just make sure you're, you don't curl up. Bring it all the way through. And we're going to pinch it off right there. We're going to wet down both sides, especially with this heavier line, uh, the heavier mono. You want to make sure you get a really good, everything cinched down. So you're going to want to pull on the middle, hold it with your teeth, and then pull each side. There it went. It hung up a little bit there, but then once it popped, once it came through, um, I try not to. So you can see where it. It took a what kind of bent it in the process. It wasn't a smooth transition, so it kind of got caught up coming through there. I don't particularly like that when it happens. Um, you know, I like them to be able to lay. You know, without putting the stress on the line like that, but. It's okay. So uh, again, you got your dropper loop with a swivel. Swivel's in the middle. This will be tied to your main line, and you got a sinker slide that'll that'll slide down with your weight. This will lay on the bottom. You got two baits that flutter out behind it. So right now we're going to tie our. Uh, we're going to use Gamagatsu 90 hooks, uh, big hook uh, for a big bait. I mean, a surf clam. You know, you're talking about the size of a. Uh, a softball sometimes so you know you want a pretty big you know pretty big hook for a pretty big bait now these fish ain't shy they're not your big fish so you want something to penetrate it's got a good strong hook and the uh, Gamagatsu 90 and 10 is a very popular hook for this fishery uh, some guys go some smaller some guys use uh, different brands but uh, I like the penetrating power of the Gamagatsu's they make a pretty good hook uh, for that so with that, we're going to come through the eye of the hook, through the eye, we're going to come up, we're going to make a loop, we're going to go on the back side of the hook, pull it out a little bit, 
All right. Pinch it down. And we're working back towards the bend of the hook. One, two, three, four, five. Come around. Stick it through. You got to be careful with the heavier monos. They will like to try to bounce the bounce out. That's why you want to try to pull it tight when you're down towards the bend. And you can rotate it around so that the line runs straight off the back. Now you want to slowly pull, and you're pulling tension on both lines as you're pulling the hook hook back to seat it up against here. If this is loose, if this section up here is loose, it'll flip over this, and it's not good. You don't want it that way. Uh, it's a, you know that loop can be snipped with a fish, and then everything will come unraveled. The hook will be gone. Um, so you want to make sure it's all pulled evenly and tight. And you got it there. You want to stretch and lock it in. Once it locks, you'll feel it. There won't be any movement in there no more. So that's one of your telt stance, uh, one of your snelled hooks. Uh, probably 18, 24 inches. The other one's going to be a little bit longer. All right, we're going to come up here. We're going to take our tag end. We're going to snip our tag in pretty tight. I don't like leaving a lot of tag on a hook. All right, that's one. And then we're going to come back over here. <clears throat> and again, you got to come in through the eye towards the bend. Make your loop. Make your loop there. Make sure you got enough room, enough tag in. And that's you know you will go through some mono making these rigs because you gotta you know have a have have some mono to work with. Uh, like I said, we're using 60 pound fluoro. I'm using Seaguar drumfish. You don't have to use uh, fluorocarbon. Um, you know even in the muddy waters that we fish for our stripers, fluorocarbon is not that important. It's what I have to to tie with right now. Uh, so, you know, I use 60 or 80 for these fish, but um, so we'll go, like I said, we're 60 pounds cigar fluorocarbon. Uh, it is, you know, stiff, so you got to make sure you got good uh, moisture on the line so when you, you're not seat properly. So you're going to come back, work towards the back of the hook. One, two, three, four, five, and one more. Comes up through the loop. You want to start to let it seat, keep it down towards the bend so it doesn't get up towards the top up here. And then we'll uh, slowly start to pull it together. Locked in, it all bunched up nicely towards, towards the eye. And then you just pull it, seat it in, and it's seated right there. So now you got a double hook clam rig. One's longer than the other. We'll go uh, a little bit wide on here. So if we can see it. There's your short hook. Comes up to your long hook. You want to, uh, you know, it could have went a little shorter on the, on the long one, but it's good. You know, you just want to slowly let them out when you're letting the baits out. You don't want these to spin around, but usually they'll they'll stay, you know, pretty untangled with the swivel action. So you can have two baits down there. You can use two chunks of bunker for fishing for striped bass, or you can use uh, two clams when fishing for uh, the big drum fish. I'm sure this could work in different applications. I'm sure if you're fishing for big catfish in a lake or river somewhere, um, you know, obviously will work for that. You can use it for, uh, like I said, black drum. I'm sure you can use it for big red drum when you're fishing with mullet and such. Uh, we do make smaller ones for sm you know, smaller clams or half clams when we're fishing for some smaller striped bass. Uh, but that's a big one for using for uh, the big black drum and the big stripers that we find uh, up our coast. So, you know, I'm sure you can adapt it to other places of the country and uh, would work well with it. So it's a, it's a dropper loop in the middle with a swivel. And then two Snell 90 hooks on uh, on each end, one on each end. So once again, uh, this is hanging with heavy. We're doing some rig tying uh, here, 
and uh, brought to you by BoatLoans.com. For all your marine financing needs, whether it's a new boat loan or to refinance the boat loan you have currently have, please check out BoatLoans.com.